Backdrop for the talks between Julia Gillard and the Chinese leadership is, of course, the profound tension on the Korean Peninsula. Among the latest developments, the North is pulling out 53,000 workers from a joint industrial zone it shares with the South. But the bigger worry is whether the North's planning another nuclear test, or worse. Oscar Sabakti reports. It's one of the last remaining symbols of cooperation between two countries that are still at war. Built in 2004, the Kaesong Industrial Complex is located within North Korea, just 10 kilometres from the demilitarised zone and is home to more than 120 South Korean companies. Just a few hundred South Koreans work at Kaesong compared with the 53,000 North Korean workers who are employed there. But now Pyongyang is no longer willing to cooperate. North Korea will withdraw all its workers from the Kaesong industrial zone. As South Korea and the United States insult the country's dignity and make the zone a starting point of war, the Kaesong industrial zone will be halted from now on. The shared complex is a crucial source of revenue for the impoverished North, with turnover last year reportedly worth almost 470 million US dollars. Pyongyang has already blocked South Korean access to the zone since last week, forcing at least a dozen companies to stop production. I knew it would happen sooner or later, but it still shocks me that the closure of the Kaesong complex is now a reality. The feud in Kaesong is just one flashpoint amid rising tensions in the Korean peninsula. It's been fueled by North Korean anger over fresh UN sanctions imposed last month in response to Pyongyang's third nuclear test conducted in February. The regime has been ratcheting up threats against its neighbours as well as the United States, which has deployed missile defences to its base in Guam. And now Japan appears to be taking the threats seriously, deploying Patriot missiles in the capital, Tokyo. <laughs> The Japanese government will take every possible precaution to protect the safety and lives of the Japanese people. There are also reports that North Korea is preparing for another nuclear test. South Korean officials had said a test was imminent, but they're now downplaying those prospects. We can see activities at Punggye Ri nuclear test site, but we believe this is a daily activity. There are no signs of an imminent nuclear test there. But fears of an attack and even an all-out war are still being fueled by the North. With the country's state news agency warning foreigners in South Korea to evacuate. And despite Pyongyang declaring an end to the armistice with the South, one analyst believes for now the ongoing threats are hollow. A nuclear use or a civilian uh, an artillery shelling of Seoul that created a civilian catastrophe would immediately alienate China and the Chinese would basically look the other way while, North, while South Korea and the United States invaded North Korea. And then North Korea would be eliminated as an independent state, there would be unification. I think a provocation might actually be useful domestically for sort of regime security purposes and to, sort of, and to bolster the new uh, North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un, who's very young and inexperienced. But I think the likelihood of war is very, very low.